What's up, YouTube? Are your kids indecisive? Have they spent countless hours and money putting together a car that they thought they really, really wanted? And then they wake up one morning and say, well, I want a Jeep. I don't know. I just really want a Jeep. And you're like, what the heck? So Maddox did that to me. And if you saw the last couple of videos, you'd see his 450. He owns the small one and the 450 that was there. He posted it on Facebook Market and a guy with this Jeep said he'd trade him. So we're like, all right. I let him go do it. Him and his brother together um, went and made the deal. And actually I am super surprised. Obviously it's a Michigan Jeep. So the doors got some rust in the rockers. But if you look under here, the lift is brand spanking new. Um, it's got new arms there. He said he redid the front end. It looks good. It drives good. Put the wench on here and the bumper. That's all brand new. Um, it's got the snorkel. Does have a power steering leak. So that's going to be getting done. Um, but for a Jeep. To trade for a $400 dirt bike, I'd say he scored. It runs and sounds amazing. So I'm happy for him. Check out this controller. Not even finished hook is it, hooking it up yet. Um, the back hatch opens without having to push in on it. And it holds itself up. So that's a bonus. And then... Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is a power steering mounting bracket, right? I believe it goes over the frame and stiffens up the frame right there. If anybody knows, let me know. Otherwise, I don't really know what that is, but that's what I think it is. Uh, and then he's got pucks, I believe, for like body lifting. Yeah. Miscellaneous bolts. Uh, old shocks and just a lot of stuff rock sliders oh and he got the rock sliders with it which is the same thing we put on our jeep um these are not cheap i remember when i went and bought these for my jeep i was shocked at what they were asking for those i forget what it was but it's well over 100 bucks for two pieces of steel um, so that's going to look good. That'll cure under the doors. And then we go to the junkyard. We'll find doors with a little less rust. And this thing will we'll clean right up. It has almost brand new tires on it with stock wheels. He threw in this set of wheels. So Maddox has watched me change tires enough. He thinks he can do it. So we're going to see if he can do it. Right now he's checking the offset of these to see if they stick out a little bit more and if it's even worth doing it. I mean, it is, right? Yeah. They stick out a little bit. Some MB racing wheels. So let's see if he can change all four of these tires. That'll be funny. And then let's look at the lift back here. Leaf springs have been painted. It's got a drop shackle. Um, what else it got back there? That might be a lift spring, I would think. It can't just all be drop shackle. It's too lifted for that. He might have bought those separately. Four and a half inch in the front Yeah, and then it's got... <laughs> that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Jeez. But we'll start it up, see what it does. I mean, he knew what to look for because we've owned enough Jeeps. New battery, all that wiring to these lights in the bumper. Got hood pins. I'm not 100% for those, but they work in a pinch. Because these hood latches, you've watched my videos, you've seen I've fought those 
on a few other Jeeps. Those are not fun. But lots of new stuff. I really think that bracket goes down there. Not too sure. I wouldn't take her underwater just yet, but the snorkel is cool. He's going off road and you see him there. So yeah, you think he scored? He paid 400 for the quad, put 275 into it, so he's got 675 into the dirt bike he traded the quad for, and then he traded the dirt bike for this, which he bought a gasket kit for the dirt bike. We redid the lower, the base gasket had gasket, uh, reshimmed it. So he's got about a hundred bucks into that. So call it 775. That's not a bad Jeep for 700 bucks. We'll call it, we'll round up and say 800 for 800 bucks. It should look a little cooler with these tires on it. I'm proud of them. This goes to show your kids are watching you. I've owned probably 40 of these over the years and they've always loved them. So they're bulletproof. Uh, frame looks good. I mean, it's been painted, but it's not all rusted through. It's still got coating on it. Those arm brackets are nice and solid. So, I mean, all the hard work's been done, you know, so that's a good thing. And I told him when he went, man, everything to look for. And sure enough, it's turned out to be a good Jeep. Once everything's hooked up and he's got everything going, it's going to be pretty awesome. It'll be good for, you know, 17 year old kid. 17 and he's got that there that he's been working on and he got this which he bought himself he did all the work to get these so i'm proud of him it's a pretty good feat for a 17 year old these jeeps are fun he'll have fun with it all right they're gonna go at it without the pallet see how this goes you don't need that <laughs> Bigger tires are definitely easier to change. Nobody's wearing real shoes. Jeez. Yeah, you're good. Now step on it. Yeah. Bada boom, bada bang. <laughs> the part I love right there. Yeah, you got to go at her. Nice. Got it. Yes, sir. Yeah, she's off. Now you lift it up. Get underneath the bottom. Lube that up real good. And the pallet makes its first appearance. Shut up. <laughs> you need that thing. You gotta be able to stand on it. I wish I had anchors on the floor. Yeah, nice. Drill holes, hammer down anchors, uh -huh. but they just fill up with dirt unless I kept bolts in them, which is a good idea. I might actually do that someday, maybe over here in this square. But there's one. All right, take the rim off. Grab one of these, move it up. Now these, are known for really scraping up wheels so we want to be careful not to gouge them too bad i think it's going to look good it's already wider was that like an eight and that's a seven and they're about the same aren't they i don't know why this one looks wider because it's offset different maybe uh, yeah, offset, right? oh doesn't work like it does in videos this is best. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretend you're playing football. Come on. There you go. Maddox plays varsity ball now. He they won 42 zip last night. Body slam two kids. I mean, by body slam, I mean they're gonna remember him. So that was cool. All right, now you're gonna get underneath here and you're gonna pry it over that way and then. Actually, no, you're no. around enough. You use this end and you got to get it on there, but without e. gouging out the wheel. All right, there's that. Now you get one side down good and then run this in there. That'll push the bead down. Yep. 
that goes down underneath, hook it under the tire. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Nothing just twisted. try not to put a lot of weight on that rim because you'll gouge it right up. Maddox, you need to hold this down in the with your knee. Yep, down past that lip. There you go. You got it. Yep. You hear air coming out? There it goes. All right. Air, nope. Wait till you hear a keep second going. pop. There it is. Now keep going a little bit. Keep going, keep going. You're going to get the valve stem ready, Maddox. Get the tool, get it ready, and then you're going to throw it in. Oh, hopefully these rims don't leak. There's one. All right. One and done. Now we got to balance it. So I happen to have one of those too. Let's get it out. That is one of the best tools I ever bought right there. You got to get it set on there just perfect. That point goes up inside there. Like this? No. no. Put it over. Yep. But it's got to be on there balancing. You see that little bubble in the center? Steel's still looking for 35s for his truck. Been looking, looking. Nobody's selling them. So now, this will be cool though. They can go out together. Look at that wheel on there. It looks a lot better. I mean, it changes the whole Jeep. It's nothing spectacular, but sticks out a little more. Makes it look a little better. Those would be good winter tires. He wants to find some 33s for it. We shall see. I'm still, I can't believe he made that deal. That was a good deal. What's it look like? Let me see. Straight on the bubble. Oh yeah. So you need it. Always put weight on the side of the bubble. Got one balanced. Man, if you play with these screws on your balancer, I put it on there and I, I adjusted it one day and I felt like it was never right. And we just got it adjusted. Now we're, you can see we're perfect. For some reason it was just, it was always going one way and I couldn't understand I what was going on. Next day, uh, yesterday we got called at about 5.30. Um, my father-in-law had just cut and bailed about 500 bales of hay. And uh, the baler leaves them in the field where they're baled. So we took the old truck out and the snowmobile trailer, got all 500 bales out of the field and uh, stacked them in his barn for him. Because we had this freak rain coming in and the bales cannot get wet. Once they do, they're ruined. So next morning, here we are. Oh, the legs are coming up. So Maddox is trying to get these on here. Yeah. And uh, I want to see what this thing's going to look like. I feel like it already looks way better with these wheels on it. Check this out, stocky on her. I mean, look, just look at the difference in the wheels. How crazy is that? Same size rim, different offset. A lot more aggressive. I mean, even the tread on the tires looks better. Look at the back wheel or tire tread. And then look at this tire shed. How is that? That is weird. Look at that. Doesn't look that good. Looks awesome. Man, we should stop to the junkyard today. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Now, because daylight is just right, we're going to take it around the corner, take some pictures of it, Put it up on Facebook and see what he can't trade it for. Maybe he'll get a Silverado. Who knows what people will come offering for this thing. But if you've watched all my old videos, you'd see that it's amazing what pops out of the woodworks when you flip and trade vehicles. I can tell you right now, there's a kid out there that has something really awesome, but all he wants is a lifted Jeep. He's going to trade that for this. So let's go take some pictures and if you come back, I'll let you know what he ends up getting for this.
runs and drives great. Sounds great. 197,000 miles, no engine lights. For a dirt bike that he had 800 bucks into. Do a zero to 130 pull. Nice. Now he's talking about wanting to keep it. <laughs> I told him just post it, see what people offer. If you don't get what you want, keep it. If you get what you want, then get what you want. Saw grass seal. I'm stopping. All right, so we're back. We just did a photo shoot for his Instagram. I'm proud of him. I mean, he just turned 17. So he's doing pretty good for himself. He's not wasting his money. And we came up with a plan. He's going to post this up for trade only. And if something pops up that he wants, he's gonna go for it. Obviously it's gotta be worth more money. Um, if not, he'll keep it. He'll drive it around once he gets his license. He doesn't even have his license yet. He's just trying to be prepared. Um, there's a lot of other things we can do to uh, play with this thing. We might stop at the junkyard and go get some doors. I mean, they're 50 bucks there. We've got the rock sliders that can go in, but I've already made one of those videos. So we will see what happens. Um, thanks for hanging out with us today. Let me know what you think about the tires and how different it looks with just a different offset. Uh, all you younger people on this video, if you have anything of value that you don't use anymore, put it on Facebook Market for trade and see what comes your way. This is how you get started. All of this started from nothing, nothing. He started with a $200 dirt bike um, and, and it grew into so much. He started with a $400 quad, grew into that Jeep. That's $400 Jeep. You know, obviously we spent a little money here and there along the way because when you trade for something usually it needs some fixing or something done to it so you do that and it costs you nothing if you do it yourself and uh put it up for trade you'll be amazed what comes your way thanks for hanging out with us today peace